Okay, so you know how sometimes you go for a really long time before you realize that something went wrong? Yeah, that's what happened with this episode. I actually recorded an entire episode of this, not realizing that I had not been recording anything. So I actually played these next 10 levels, and unfortunately none of the footage was captured, which... I'm really sad about because this was a fun episode. But hey, I get to do it all over again, right? So that is pretty fun. So welcome back. We are going to be playing through Bomb Blockade here. This is a Ruben Spawns level, which is really cool. I, I like this one a lot. Um, the premise of this, it's interesting because this level is based on uh, the level Toggle Tank from uh, CCLP1. And it kind of has a similar premise with cloning uh, tanks on the right, but instead of toggling, you're cloning things, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's take care of you. Get this one. So one of the things that you have to figure out with this level is that you pretty much have to um, save monsters from room to room, which is really interesting. Uh, the other thing is that this ball cloner is kind of pointless. Like, doing that really doesn't do anything compared to, like, what happens next. So, what you have to figure out with this one, which is really fascinating, is that you have to get an actual fireball up here to uh, do your bidding for you. But then you also have to get a glider at the very end as well. And this was really fun to figure out. So, the fireball is going to go in there and hit that toggle button, which is necessary. And then that way we can actually move on to the exit. But then we also have the issue of getting the glider to the exit as well. But at the same time, I need to actually blow this up first. So, it's a really interesting little pickle, as far as that goes, about how you would do that. And in what order and all that stuff. So... I dropped my boots. I don't know if that's actually correct. I feel like it's not because this was based on a CC1 level and you can't boot drop in that, right? So I don't know what you would do in place of that, but I'm going with it. However the level can be solved, I'm going to solve it. So nothing wrong with a little ingenuity, right? And I guess I forgot to get the bonus, but somehow I still got a high score anyway, so. So that's that one. Um, so my original candidate for the next level, it was Line, and I just lost my spreadsheet, which was unfortunate. Because uh, it's an H2O level, but surprisingly, Line has not shown up yet. Uh, I'm wondering if they're saving it for later as a, kind of like a relief level or something. Instead, we get Bit Player, which is another multi-character level from H2O. Let's see, let me get back my spreadsheet here so I can... Well, apparently it's still loading, so... So this is a really interesting one, because the idea here is that mechanism there with the blocks in the socket activates if you get all the chips. So you don't want to get all the chips. Instead, you want to do this, where you have Melinda get one of them, but then let Chip do that, so you can blow that up. And then your all path is clear here uh, to do this. Your all path is clear. That's not grammatically correct. So we'll go over here, do this. You let Chip get the green key, go back. Uh, so now we're, we're fine. We're, we're totally fine. So now I can go up here. So I'll just let Melinda get this one, so the... That can go on, and we're done. That's basically it. It's a really neat brain teaser. I, I really like this one a lot. So that is Bit Player. Really cool level. Uh, so the next level, if this spreadsheet is done loading now, let's see here if I can pull it up. My prediction for it was chipdied.wmv, but as it turns out, it is a level that I predicted for much later on, Electric Feel. Uh, I thought this was going to be placed much later, because this is an Andrew Menzies level that I seem to recall stumping me during voting, but it ended up actually not being that uh, bad. Like, I actually thought this one was pretty reasonable. 
So don't judge a book by its cover, right? Uh, also, I need to figure out why... Oh, wait, I forgot to do that. That's the reason. So the idea here is you're supposed to do that to get the the right ta uh, force floor changed there. Then comes the part where we have to tread very carefully on all these flame jet controls. But it's actually not that hard. I thought that was... Did I accidentally step on that? I did not do that last time. I accidentally stepped on that. Oh well, live and learn, right? Okay. So let's go here. Do a little faster this time. Go down. There we go. Okay. Got it. Okay, so now we'll go here. We should have a better path back now that we're not worrying so much about this. Okay, so this area here, we can go ahead and do this because that can block up that cloner and then we can get that chip. So this area up here, this area is very tricky. And basically, what you have to figure out is that this area is where you have to end. So what I'm going to do first, let me first get this from here, is that I'm going to take this on from this side by doing that, and then I can slip in through here and get this, but then I'm going to block that up so I don't have to worry about it. Then we swing around over here, grab that, and then we get over here, grab that, and drop it. So that way we don't have to worry about anything else there. Peachy? Alright. So then this section we have to do everything in a certain order, where we kind of trace all these lines. So this is the top, this is the middle, this is the bottom. Pretty simple. Top, middle, top, bottom, middle, top. And toggles are switched. And that is the level. That is it. That was a really fun level. Really like that one a lot. Alright, so my next prediction for the next one, which was also an H2O level, was more tanks. But as it turns out, it's this one. Athic Des Reserves, which is totally not the way you pronounce it. Uh, so this is a level in which Chip and Melinda cannot move le um, left and right, respectively. Which is a really interesting concept. Um, and one of the things you have to figure out here is that you basically have to jam this teleport so you can actually get into this red teleport area without having to go right. Because if you weren't to do this, you would go right, and you don't want to do that. And that took me a little while to figure out. But thankfully, executing it is actually not so hard. You just have to do this, and then, then you go through there, and then come back out. So now you're all ready to build the rest of the bridge, which is cool. So you can do this, go back through here, do that, and then you're pretty much home free. Just slip through here like that. And somehow I still failed. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. I probably accidentally went right when trying to... get a block turned. Okay, I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay, so I can do this. Then I go through here. Okay. Thankfully, Chip's route is not nearly as hard. So Chip's route, you just have to do a bunch of dynamite blowing up here. I guess it's a little more strict, but in some ways that's kind of what's good about it, is that you have a more defined path to go on. Uh, now I forgot how to... I'm gonna do this. Hopefully that's correct. We shall see. I think there's one more dynamite located here. 
So I just have to run through the teleport gauntlet again, and we should be fine. Yeah, because I have to get around the fire. So as long as I get around the fire, I should be good. And that's it. Yep. All right. That was a lot faster than last time, like everything else here. Okay, so the next level is a, level is a Tyler level, and this one I was actually stuck on for a while. Uh, and it is not Remote Detonator, which was my original prediction. It is Double Agent. And it's weird because I don't remember having this much trouble with this one when I played originally. But the, the general gist of this level is that you are in the middle here. Every time you make a move, you move this uh, doppelganger two spaces. And so you have to figure out the order of operations that this thing has to take in order to open this door, clear up a path such that it can get to this button last... And somehow use this block. And I had an incredibly tough time figuring this out for some reason. I don't remember having this much trouble with this one in voting. But I was able to get it, finally. Which was good. And it was very satisfying to figure out. I will say that. So, the first thing's first. Let's get this red key. And I'm going to have to remember again how I did this. I think I op wait, I did not go through that cuz that's a that's a key thief. I'm sorry if I'm just kind of rushing through these. I I'm do mainly doing it because I unfortunately missed the first the the first recording just completely went I completely forgot to press the record button apparently, so which is a bummer. So I'm going to push that there. I don't think you actually need to do that, but uh, so at any rate, I think, if I'm not mistaken, do you travel back through the... Wait a minute. Through the turtles? I think you might. Yeah, so... I do recall pushing that up being a thing. I just don't remember how you do it. Um, the order of operations with this key thief is what's so tricky about this. Because you got to make sure you don't get that key stolen. The boots are not a problem. Like Boots are totally fine. It's just this key thief that ruins everything as far as this level goes. I'm trying to remember how you do it. Because ultimately what you want to do is you want to position this block here. So that way you can come around and get to the toggle button from there. Because that's ultimately the goal here is to get to that toggle button. And now I'm trying to remember how you even do this. My memory is failing me, guys. I don't know how to get this one done. Do you have to do the the area down at the bottom left first? Hang on a sec. Oh no, because you have to press the toggle button first in order to even do that. Never mind. Okay. That's out of the question. So, nothing going on on that front. Problem is, if I go here, then I'm basically screwed as far as that key thief goes so unless this thing doesn't actually affect the mimics it doesn't so what was the point of having that there I don't get it did I not notice that the first time around I probably didn't okay so now we'll, we'll push this here it's weird that there's a key thief I just find that odd Maybe there's a, a reason for it that I'm just not seeing. Okay. So now we press that. So what this does is that now the path is clear over here to push this in place. And why that's important is that we can now do this again and set up the path to that block with the slime under it. Because that is the doppelganger's final destination. 
Because I think that's how this is supposed to work. I thought this was how this that was supposed to work. Uh, oh wait, the that's right. I go from the toggle button layer. Wrong layer. There we go. There we are. Okay. So I can go through here. Yeah, I don't understand why there's a key thief. It just seems like a really odd addition. But the level works, and it is really fun. So that is Double Agents. And so now we have another Andrew Menzies level. And it is finally the one that we've been waiting for. That is Hydrochloric Acid Factory Disaster, complete with a memory element here in the beginning with a tank. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it was right, right, upright, not right, upright, right. That makes more sense. There we are. All right, yeah, this level is a lot of fun. It's, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the satisfaction of clearing all this stuff. That's just really cool. Um, yeah, I really like this one a lot. This, this is a really sweet level. And I like the aesthetic with the railroads and stuff. Like, it feels like this actual abandoned factory that I just totally died in for no reason at all. Other than I'm really dumb. Alright, there we go. Let's try that all over again. Except I need to actually set this up. All right, so we can do this, go back over here, get this one. And we can swing around this way. Wonderful, all right. So now we go up here where we have a little loop-de-loop. -loop, and then we can swing this way. Okay, so grab this. Now we can go to the next area. I really love just how the sense of progression feels very rewarding in this level. It's really cool. So this part is basically getting this block over to the other side. Doing that. I made the same mistake as I did in the failed recording. I forgot to turn the block right there. I don't know why. I forget that, but for some reason, for the life of me, I just could not remember to do that. And I did it again. I did it again. Oh well. Hopefully it's entertaining, right? I'm I'm learning to just kind of own my mistakes and just be chiller about it. Like, just not be quite as uptight about making mistakes on the channel. Everyone's here to have fun. It's okay to laugh at mistakes. I don't mind. I need to laugh at my own mistakes a lot better than I have been. Okay, so we get over here. Swing around there. Excellent. Alright, let's do this again. So there's also a bonus in this level, but I have no idea how to get to it. I think I forgot to get that last time. Not that it really was necessary at that point, but... Hey, more optimal, right? Uh... I went one space too far there. There we go. Thankfully, this, this is lenient enough that you can do that. Okay, so now let's go down this way. This is just a simple build-a-short thing there kind of deal. And now we just need to use one of these to get to the exit, which is pretty cool. That is a really fun level. I, I like that one a lot. Okay, so the next level is a uh, Joshua Bone level. And it's the one, another one that we've been waiting for for a long time. And that is Of the Roses, unlike my prediction, which was Marked Canal. 
I'm guessing we're probably not going to be seeing that one for a while, since it's a fairly long level. I don't know why I put it this early. But at any rate, this is based on wars, and it has a really interesting concept where you basically let these bugs in here, um, but you have to use this block to open this up so to let the other bug in, and then the fun can begin. So what you do is you start this machine up, and then bugs start going, and then you get bunches of bugs going through here. Just let them go. And now we have a path to a red key, which is our ticket forward. Okay, so I would love to get in there, but unfortunately we need to actually go here to get flippers first. And then we can swing back around. Okay, so now we can get the second red key here. So ultimately, what you could do is you could just... I was about to try to lay my flippers down there, but for some reason I panicked and didn't lay them down, and then I went to the right. Oh well. Let's try that one more time. I like the wired railroads. That's such a fun touch to this. Alright, so now, do this one. There we go. Get you. Now we wait. This has a pretty generous time limit, too. I guess... Wasn't 600 the, the time limit of the original Wars? I think it was. Okay. That was very risky, but thankfully it paid off. Okay, what I was trying to do was this. I didn't realize it would go right down there. I should have taken cover. Alright, we'll get it, we'll get it. This is actually a fairly easy level. I, I'm surprised it's this late compared to some of these other ones. I, mean, I guess there's a few little twists like this block being used to clear dirt and stuff that may not be obvious, but... It's one of those things where it's like, once you exhaust all your options, there's only so many things you can do, right? All right, let's try this again. Try this one more time. There we go. All right. I'm gonna wait that time so I don't make don't make any unnecessary risks with that. Okay, this time around, though, we're going to try to do this the, the fun way. There. That's what I was trying to do. So now you all can go. I can get this. I guess I don't really have to wait for that, but... I mean, I do to do that, so... So now we have a yellow tank. Um, there's a few chips here we can get for some reason, so... Yellow tank is just going to travel around here so that you can eventually hold the trap down. And then swing around there, go there, and then do that. There we go. Get a bonus. And we can get another bonus over here, which is pretty sweet. Alright, so that is Of the Roses, which is a really fun level. I quite like that one. Alright, so the next one is a Josh level, and I originally had low life in this spot, but as we saw, that, that ended up being a lot earlier. So, instead we get a level that I thought would be a little bit later, Highlighter. This is a yellow teleport level, and a pretty fun one, too. And now I am kind of concerned about how this is going. Let's just start that over. No, I don't want you to do that. I 
There. That's what I wanted you to do. Yeah, so this is actually a lot easier than I remember it being. Like, for some reason, I remember this being slightly more difficult than it actually is. I think part of that is just making sure that you don't mess up using the yellow teleports, but that's not really that hard. You just need to make sure that you clear some paths here for yourself, and it's really actually pretty easy. Uh, I think this way is perfectly fine. Uh, now I'm a little worried because... Can I actually pick that up? Okay, good. I, I was a little concerned there for a minute. Okay, so now I just have this one down here. Okay, good stuff. Don't even need the teleports, so... Exit! That was fun. I really like the open-endedness of that level. It's It feels accessible without being, like, overly complicated. And it gives you enough of a challenge that you feel stimulated, but it's not, like, overly crazy. So, I really like that one. And it's actually not as, as like, complicated as I thought it would be, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so the next two levels, I did guess correctly on the list. And the first one is by Tyler, and that is Chip and Linda Go Skating. So, this one was interesting, because um, this was one of the levels I went back and forth on so long in my predictions list on including. And I eventually did, just because I was running out of multi-character levels to use that were actually good. So, I'm glad I did, though, because this level was a lot of fun. And I know Tyler is not a fan of it for some reason, but Tyler's wrong. This level's great. I know he's kind of hard on it, but he, I thought he did a good job designing it. So, uh, yeah, I need to actually get Melinda there. That's the, the trick here is to boost off this force floor by doing that. That way you can get over here and start doing stuff, so... Get Chip in position, and then start doing some block pushing. These levels, I am kind of not looking forward to optimizing them, and I don't know why I just went left there. That was pretty dumb. Tyler would probably go, about as dumb as this level. Mm. Yeah, I, I think this level is cool. Alright, so let's go and get Melinda back over there. Get all these bonuses while we're at it. Come on, get up there. There we go. There we are. But yeah, the thing that was interesting about using this in the predictions is that it has both Chip's and Melinda's names in the title. Which is like... You wouldn't think that's significant, but thanks to that one leak about the number of times Chip and Melinda's names appear, it actually ends up being a little bit more significant than it might first seem on, on first glance. And so this level was like, oh yeah, of course I'll, I'll include that. And then I was starting to wonder, you know, I don't know, would this be in or not? I don't know, but thankfully it is, and I'm glad it is, because I, I think this is fun. Okay, so now we're at this part. This part is kind of frustrating. Because in this part, you have to basically get this block, this ice block, over 
to that other side. Which I guess, wait a minute, no, I guess you could just push it down and you're fine. Yeah, I I was doing it from the middle, which is a lot harder when I when I was recording earlier. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better about this. Okay, this one you can just set something up like this where you just have a little block slide to do here. There you are. Then you get the tank out of the way. And Bob's your uncle. So, there you go. And with that, Chip can now get skates. And go skating himself. Alright, just get all the bonuses and we should be good to go. I think there were some down here. Yeah, because I remember it was 280. Or, no, it, I missed some last time. Holy crap, okay. I'm glad I replayed this. I mean, I'll replay it again when I eventually optimize, but... That was fun. That was that was fun. I, I enjoy that level. I, I think it's cool. Alright, and then lastly, we ended things off with one of my levels, and that is Time in a Bottle. Uh, so this was um, a time crunch level that I made. It kind of had a bit of a twist to it, where you had to get clocks along the way. You start out with, like, no time, but then you end up getting time, which is pretty cool. Okay, so then we do this. Actually, I'm going to attempt to get the bonus. Let's see how dangerous we can live right now. I'm going to see how this works. Okay. Let's keep going. I think we're in good shape. Alright, so we can get more here. So this is the part where you just push blocks in. Oh, there's a clock there. Might be helpful. Uh, this way. Okay, so now we back up, get ship in place, and now we can get over here. Which means that now I can go back and get the times two flag, too. Uh, let's leave these here. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually gone for this. There never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do. Indeed. That's a new hint, by the way. Because I forgot to add a hint in the original version of the level. So how about that? Alright, so that is Time in a Bottle. Fun stuff. That is all for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I apologize that that was probably not as reactionary as normal. But hopefully it was still enjoyable. So if you liked it... Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, you know the drill, and ring that bell to get notified of the next episode. But for now, uh, I'm going to run, so thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care and see you next time.